Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. Even at a 98.6 college, that's a college where all you need to graduate is normal body temperature, the commencement speaker typically tells the students to dream big. That has always been disingenuous. Many of those graduates were lucky to get and hold a mundane job like marketing coordinator or school teacher or construction supervisor. Dream big is even more disingenuous today. Solid, well-paying careers are ever rarer thanks to automation, offshoring, and ratcheted up requirements, technical requirements, interpersonal abilities, general intelligence. Many, if not most, graduates of Southwestern State University at Mudville will, for lack of ability and or drive, end up in a cycle of a few-month lackluster gig followed by a few months of desultory looking, followed by another lackluster gig, and so on. What would an honest commencement speaker say to such graduates? Here's one shot at it. It can't have been easy to make it to graduation, even with great inflation. So congratulations truly are in order. But while I could fill the rest of this talk with puff you up talk, I believe I can serve you better with straight talk. Yeah, some of you are going to be able to follow the standard commencement speaker exhortation. Dream big, be big. If you work hard, you can do anything. Go forth and conquer. But fact is, in the world you're inheriting, especially over your work span, even Ivy grads aren't assured of making a difference or even of making a good living. Automation, offshoring, the gig economy, and the ever more demanding abilities required mean that many, if not most of you, won't be able to count on making good money. That's the bad news. The good news is that even many rich and influential make a difference people are unhappy. Happiness lies largely from within. Both my parents were Holocaust survivors, yet my mom, cheery by nature, remained so through her life. Lots of singing, dancing, partying, Yet my dad, serious, a warrior like me, was that way throughout his life. So, if you're a reasonably happy person, even if you don't make much money, you'll probably be okay. And if you're a sad, worry-filled person, I believe your best shot is to seek contentment through some combination of relationships, creative outlets, and recreation. Plus, recognizing that all work, from ditch digger on up, is worthy work. Crazy as it may sound, unless you're quite a star, you'd be wise to take whatever job drops in your lap. It's probably as good a launch pad for your career as any, and you won't be spending months or years searching for a perfect fit that probably doesn't exist or that isn't realistic. You see, jobs don't normally drop into people's laps at random. You've probably been offered that job by a friend, family, whomever, because they think you'll do a good job at it. As long as you treat that job as a launch pad and not as a dead end, you'll probably be okay. Taking that ditch digger example, if in between digging ditches you talked with the funeral director, the landscape manager, and the monument maker, and asked for advice and even for a better job, you might well get one. And then, if you do make the effort to become expert at whatever that job is, for example, buying, selling, and customizing gravestones, you could well find yourself feeling good about your career and maybe even doing well financially because few graduates aspire to such a career. I recall being a student at graduation and wishing the speaker would shut up already so I could go out to eat. So I'll just summarize. Remember that most people are wise to seek contentment, not so much by following their passion or seeking big money, but by making the most of what comes relatively easily to them. And finding additional happiness with good relationships, a creative outlet you're excited about, and a fun hobby or three. And with that, I really do wish you all the best. Congratulations, class of 2019. Anyway, I um, do thank you for watching and appreciate your giving a thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see appropriate down below there, subscribing to my channel, or... Um, um, sharing on there's a share button where you can share it on your social media and again in any event I do appreciate you watching I am Marty Nemco